Hey everyone and welcome back to another mukbang. I hope you're all having a great night tonight. We are going to be eating some delicious chicken fajitas, chicken and bell pepper fajitas. I put sour cream on one because I was ready to eat and then Carter started barking so he had to go into his crate. I think Darby is following suit. You're a good girl Darby. Mommy loves you. She didn't bark but she's like oh he got in trouble, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go be with him. Silly, silly dogs. How are you guys all doing tonight? When you are hungry and you eat something delicious. It was like nothing in the world exists in that moment except for what's in your mouth. Mmm. That tastes really good. Mmm. I put some beans on top of it. And I've got this Pepsi. Got a weird like twist in the bottle. I may become a Pepsi drinker. I think it's because it's the made with real sugar. That's why it's so good. Like just like the uh, Caleb's cola that I like. That's made with real sugar. Mm. Girls and boys. You cannot talk with a mouthful of food. I'm sorry. I've been reading some shit by the Fine Brothers. I urge you, if you are subscribed to me and subscribe to them, please go and subscribe to them. They are horrible human beings for what they are trying to do. You cannot copyright the fucking term react. You should not be able to sue somebody because they did a video similar to yours or in the same vein as yours. That is like putting a copyright on collective consciousness, like creativity. Like, no. Ah. I'm gonna start a website and a YouTube channel called Mukbang World. And any of you people out there making Mukbang videos, I'm gonna fucking sue you. No. That's not how it works. That's not reality. That's not life. I don't know how they're getting away with this. It's unbelievable to me. These guys are millionaires. They make on average like two million dollars a year from average. That's on the low spectrum. Yes. Why do they need 30% profit of other people's react videos? Just because they use the same term, react? BS. You should not be allowed. I don't know why YouTube, well I do know why YouTube's going along with it. They make them a lot of money. I'm gonna go pop this in the oven so that while I eat this one, this one gets heated back up. Okay. And if you have not seen, or if you haven't heard me say, which I've said it like three times now, but I'll say it again. My brother started making YouTube videos. I'm so proud of him. He has made three or four videos in a row which is really impressive good job my brother I love you um, but his last video was about action versus intention and that is totally kind of fits with what I'm talking about about the fine brothers is it's like 
the intention behind why they're doing it is so vile. It's not the action of telling people, can you take your, your React videos down? It is the fucking intention that they have behind it that we made these React videos, so it's our inherent uh, whatever it is. It's their idea. Ugh. It was like when I started making mukbangs. Yes, I made them because I saw Trisha Paytas doing it. I watched a bunch of Korean mukbangs myself. I started getting into it, but it's like Trisha made a video, and I talked about this like one of the very one of my first very first ones. She made a video, and she was like, "Oh, it's funny how a lot of people are making mukbangs now." Yes, people are going to make what is popular right now. ASMR channels are fucking really popular right now. I, as a human being, see that, and I'm like, "Blue, blue, blue." Oh, I want to do that. I want to be a part of this. I'm not going to scam people into thinking that I am an ASMR artist or whatever they want to be called and then make a regular video because that's what a lot of these people do is they put ASMR in their title just so that they come up higher in the search results. Good job to you people, but you're not making an ASMR. You're making a mukbang or you're making a talking video or whatever unless it is specifically like something that they're doing that some person gets auditory tingles from. Mmm. Mmm. No bitch. Nobody can go out there and say, I created the ASMR. So I'm going to sue anyone who puts ASMR in their title. Or, I want a profit of everyone who puts mukbang in their title. Bitch, I would love that. I would love to go down to the copyright office and file a form that says, I copyright the term mukbang eating show. Or something like that, so that it's not just one word. I copyright this phrase. Unbelievable. People would fucking hate me for that. And as they should, you should not be able to go to someone else's content and say, mm, your idea, or even you're using a title similar to ours. Really? And please tell me that you guys, like, agree with me on this, that I'm not the crazy one. Because I really just think it's fucked up that if I made a video, Positive Smash, reacts to a Trisha Paytas music video. I would get a fucking DMCA copyright content thing. For what? Just because I put react in the title. That's not okay. That's a word. You cannot copyright single words that are commonly used. Ugh. I could see it like if somebody went out and specifically made another channel and made like elder react videos and that's all their fucking channel was was elders react to then I could see the fine brothers getting mad at that but if I as an individual a perfect example is Rich D from Social Repose he's been making goth goths react to he hasn't got a DMCA he hasn't gotten this video taken down. Why? Why, fine brother? You do it to other people. I've just been watching a lot of these videos today about like people ranting about it. They're millionaires. They don't need... They want to set up a website where people submit their reaction videos to. So that they get 30% of the profit. So somebody else does the work of making a video and editing it. And you want them to submit it to your website so that you can make 30% of the profit. Because if they put it on YouTube, you're going to fucking copyright claims them. That's not right. That is not right. Uh-uh. I didn't know that was fucked. Hmm. Ranty McRancherson. Mm. 
another thing I want to talk about. I'm going to try to do this from now on. Like, write down ideas or, like, topics that I want to talk about on a notepad. So I look at them and I go, like, okay, I have to talk about that. Over it, moving on. Fast food. A lot of you guys wanted me to do fast food mukbangs. Good news, there's a lot of people on YouTube who do fast food mukbangs. So if you're looking for those, but I personally do not eat fast food. That's why I am in good shape. <laughs> I don't put shit into my body. Even though I do these videos and I eat a lot of food, which to me, again, it's not a lot of food. I'm eating, like, healthy stuff. I don't, I wouldn't just, that's the thing. And then this is, again, with the action versus intention. I would not act on making a video just to get views and that's what making a fast food video would be doing that would be getting more views yes it would be great and it would be nice but i want to get views for myself for who i am genuinely this is honestly you have seen almost every single video that i've made is a meal that i would have normally ate anyways so that's why i'm kind of against the fast food videos i would not eat fast food normally anyways so why would I do it just for a YouTube video? It would be fun, I guess. Not for my body. <laughs> I've not had fast food in so long. Now, fast food mukbangs I will do. Del Taco. Taco time. Maybe I will do a Taco Bell one in the future. Maybe. But that will be because... I'll be able to title it Vegetarian Taco Bell McBum because I won't be eating any meat. So it will be like, that's what's going to get the draw is the vegetarian part of it, not so much the Taco Bell part. Maybe. I don't know. YouTube is an interesting game, especially being an outsider watching it for so long. Now that I'm doing it, there's so much more stuff that you you don't know about while you're watching people's YouTube videos. Which... It just makes me appreciate so much more the effort that big YouTubers put into their videos. I'm going to move this. <laughs> um, what else do I want to talk about? I'm going to grab my phone and go through my um, YouTube history. I'm going to go grab that other one that I put in there. I don't know if I need that fourth one. super awesome new news too. If you guys remember the Asian market that I go to, not Yuajimaya, the other one, it it's literally called Asian Superstore or something like that. It's not, there's no like name of it. So I feel bad saying the Asian grocery store, but that's literally what it's called. It's like the Asian Supermart. Um, right next to it, which just opened, you guys are really going to like this. A Korean barbecue. So somebody requested a Korean barbecue video and I was like, how the fuck am I going to do that on my table? Like, you need air flow and all this shit. But there is a Korean barbecue right next to that place. And if I can go and do like a vegetarian <coughs> video, I don't think they would mind me setting up my tiny little tripod and filming myself eat. And if they did, I would be like... I'm eating. Like, you're going to tell me I can't eat? I'm not going to show your other customers. I'm not going to show you. I'm going to eat. <laughs> um, but also, a Kiki Bakery opened! A Korean bakery! Oh my god! So it's like a boulangerie or a, um, what was the other one I went to? To Sejour. It's more like a boul boulangerie from what I, I looked in the other day. It's not like the Tous Le Jour. The Tous Le Jour was tiny, but the stuff they had in was really, really good. So look forward to that on Friday. And we are only a hundred, no, less than a hundred. We are only like 70 away from 2,000. So tomorrow I probably am going to buy a cake from Whole Foods, and let me show you what that cake is. This has just been like, the last five minutes has been me talking. 
sometimes I, I said that the other day sometimes I'm just in a talking mood and I just want to talk to you guys but also I wonder like who who wants to hear me who wants to hear me if you don't follow me on Instagram please do at positive smash if any of you know what this beautiful creepy looking plant is that is a dried flower like that's the uh, leftover what would it be called like the skeleton I don't know oh my god I'm glad I looked because I also have something else I want to show you <laughs> that I got at um, the store Archie McBee's that I did not show okay so there's two different cakes and whoever watched it this far you get to tell me which one you want to see me eat there's a vanilla one vanilla one and a chocolate one so which one would you rather see me eat I kind of want to do the vanilla one just because I think of van I could think I could eat that whole vanilla cake or at least a good chunk of it and it's not super expensive well let me go grab that other one and I'm back with a warmed up I want to keep calling them enchiladas fajita so I should probably just move part the C's at this point and where are my, my hands? Well, here are my hands, but I didn't want to get up. <laughs> I didn't want to cut this clip again. I cannot believe I did not pull these out on Friday night. This took two days for me to fucking finally pull out. You guys, I want to make a YouTube channel called Little Hands Touching Things, and my boyfriend thinks it would be funny too, but to go out in public and like get on the bus and be like, tiny hands on a bus, tiny hands drinking a soda. <laughs> Do you see the tiny hands? I have to hold it with my other hands. <laughs> tiny hands. Tiny hands, tiny hands. Praise be to God. <laughs> These things, I fucking sent my sister a picture. <laughs> I didn't post it on Instagram because I want to get a better one than what I took. <laughs> I sent her that and said, "Praise be, praise be to Saturday." <laughs> I keep going up to my boyfriend and like caressing his face. Like your face is so, it's so handsome. I love you so much, so much. Grab your cheeks and squeeze them. Oh no, you're getting makeup all over you. Sorry. Somebody said they like my cheekbones. Yes, bitch. Contoured for the gods. Actually doing a little bit of makeup now that this is like 720p quality, so. I want to look at a little, a little bit presentable. Just a little bit, not a lot bit, just a little bit. And I've, can you believe I am almost 30 years old and I've never worn eyeliner? I think once, maybe twice, but like I've never done it myself. I tried. <laughs> I should show you the failure that was me trying to put on eyeliner. It might take me a second to find it because it was on New Year's Eve last year. So how can I do this? Collection years 2015. Mm. Yes, bitch. <laughs> That's positive smash with a whole lot of makeup on. I look like a prostitute. <laughs> Those fucking Egyptian eyes, though. This is, how artistic is this? How artistic. I'm such an idiot sometimes. All the goods you guys didn't see before I did YouTube. That eyeliner is wretched. Horrible. Hi, girl. Hi. <laughs> oh, my God. 
so funny. Here's me, December 31st, 2014, in this exact same chair with the lights up. So that just goes to show you, we've been doing the lights around this thing for like, since 2014, probably since 2013. But maybe not, maybe it was 2014 was our first year. I don't know if I'm going to eat all of this, but I'll eat some of it for sure. And I will not eat that fourth one. I'll save it. Well, that was quite unfortunate. You poor unfortunate souls! I love that part of Ariel. Where the fucking Ursula's just fucking everything up. This mouth today is out of control of the cutting. I don't give a fuck. I don't fuck with you. You little stupid ass bitch. I'm fucking with you. Oh, you can see how sparkly the palm of the hand is from my makeup. Both the bronzer and the frickin' blush that I wear both have shimmers in them. Shimmers and then I put on like some trim highlighter. I think I might do a video like what I wear in my videos is in like makeup. Just so you know, and like what my skincare routine is. Because a girl, I try to fuck with that shit. I try to integrate some new skincare regimens, some uh, face wash. No bitch. If you found a face wash that works for your face and doesn't break you out, stick to it, girl. Because I used it for two days or one, one or two days, and the next day I was like, why is my face so goddamn greasy? Where did this grease come from? I'm not usually greasy. My hair sometimes. And that's another thing, is somebody said, your hair looks so nice. And in my head I'm like, my hair is so greasy. It was in last night's video. It's because I'll shower, I'm going to shower today. I'll shower tomorrow, but I won't wash my hair. And then Tuesday is like the day that it's kind of, eh, eh, gotta maybe put a little dry shampoo in there. But those are always the days that you guys say my hair looks great, so <laughs> I guess I shall keep on letting that bitch get greasy. I'm so hyper right now. This. Plus I drink some tea with some caffeine in it, girl. It's good after this I'm doing a weed review of some indica because, am I? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, so it will bring me back down. I don't want to put the finger, the hands on my food, but I think it would be funny to try to eat with the little hands. Y'all once, twice, three times later. <laughs> and I love you. Mmm, more sugar, that's what I need right now. It tastes good. <sighs> that's so the life of a person with ADD. No, I was just so like, blah, 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 blah. Mm. 
What are you gonna do though? Get on, get me on from Ridlin? No, girl. You know what's really freaky? I don't think about this until right now. There's like this little pen mark mark here. But the creepy thing is, can you see it's like right there? I'm not creepy. My stepdad he used to have a tattoo, or he probably still does, like right in between, right there, which is funny because it's kind of in that area. Mmm. That first bite of that first one, damn. So good. I'll never forget it. Until the next meal where I eat something delicious. That's usually how it goes. I do want to eat like more Korean food. And go get it. But that's food, that's again, that's food that I would normally eat and like go search out to go eat. I wouldn't normally eat pastries and shit on a Friday night, but that's for my own benefit. Like, I want to do that. Oh no. I think I have to stop eating. My body was just like, enough. I'm really. Mm, maybe it's just that burp. Never mind, girl. caffeine in this. I'm never going to bed tonight. I need to go back up to that cost plus and get more cherry wine. That was delicious. I'm done with you, pepper. Okay, I'm gonna go clean this up, and then I'll be back in just a second with new subscribers' names. I don't have anything to wipe my hands off, but I'm not not about to get up for some bullshit like that when I'm about to be done. Mmm. I'm not That went fucking great with those fajitas. God, I keep wanting to say enchiladas. I just love enchiladas so much, okay? If you guys enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you'd like to see more I make new videos every single day I'm not afraid to say that anymore because I do I make new videos every single day and I will see you guys if I don't see you in a minute for new subscribers I'll see you tomorrow have a great night everyone bye as the pepper comes falling out of my mouth bye Hey everyone, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our new subscribers. Thank you mo so much for subscribing. Blah, 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 blah. Hey everyone, I wanted to give a quick shout out to our new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if I mispronounce your names, I sincerely apologize. Charlene December, Zamira Uzakbeva, Prima Priya, R Madrid Real Madrid. Pretty Verma, Katrina Williams, 9999 Pia,
Camilla T. Sorn, Selena Noste, Nust, Mr. Kebab, Banafsha Amiri, Michael Ingstrom. Are you related to a guest? Very funny. I know someone with that same last name. Ashish Ten Tendon, Jamie Lynn Henry, Renato Tellis, or Teas, Ali Warren, Art Is My Life, 289, Shin Ning, W. Jingy, Glenda Waters, Cherish Ball, Vinay B., Dave Sonawain, Lauren Bennett, Valerie Sibulkova, Mario Maurer, Milind Dongri, Y. Lee, Tatia Ivan Chivelli, Jasmine He, Vegan Revolution. Thank you so much for subscribing. Sorry about what I said earlier. <laughs> All I said was that I'm not a vegan, but just sorry for if it came off weird. Uh, Day Young, Maha, Princess Garcia, Elizabeth Cooper, El Gonvec Lissy, Naveen Parathrain, Corey Lindsay, Claudia Antunes, Gabriela Navarro, Kinza Wasm, Peos 63, you're so cute. Tracy Barrigan, Nan Nanda Studio, Aurelia Nelsha, CE0113, Kat Brock, Alicia Mariscal, Bay Ryan, Wired Digital, Macy Broom, Humanoid, Naveen KV, Jackie Crawford, Hornbeck, Jamie Skeleton, Mar Mar Cutie, Weird Little Potato, Partha Chatterjee, Alanud, Alut Abi, and Chase A. Thank you so much everyone for subscribing and once again I apologize for mispronouncing your names. If you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!